Hey guys, Blake here. Just wanted to go over a couple of trades from earlier today. There are a few trades, but I'm going to keep the video as quick as I can. So first thing I want to say that the first trade I took was Kron. I'm sorry. It was SYMC. It was gapping up. It was on a pullback and it started to gain some support. So I ended up buying the dip. I ended up not being able to add as much size as I wanted to and I took profits a little bit too early but overall it was a, a, a good scalp trade right out of the gates so I'm gonna go ahead and play that for you not too sure what to think about this one it's nothing that I really like until they get to certain levels so we'll just keep them all on watch Oh, I got to open. Um, some fish in here. Not gonna be uh, special. We got in the same amount. So, not trading the opening candle today, which is okay. So I pulled the level two and I see that there's some support at 22 and it it drops beneath this 22 level and it starts to get some traction. It starts losing momentum to the downside and it shows that there's bidders there and there's some support. So 22 being a psychological level at 22, I hopped in at $22. Averages 22.08. I'll just take the 10 cents right there. A little oh, snap back. Hmm. Went all the way up to 30. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this until we take our, other, our next trade. So it's basically a, a rinse and repeat here. It came back down. So I'm looking to buy this if it forms some support here. Buying underneath the VWAP, not the best. The market might be putting in a candle, green candle. So we just grabbed a little bit at 204. Twenty two oh four that is. Hmm. Here's an ad possibility. Over 22 is going to be our risk, risking about 10 cents. So there's our one-to-one -one profit. We're up 10 cents. If this gets over the view, I could really go up 20 cents. I'm going to take most of it, just leave the rest in here in case it does end up getting bullish for the day. Just a little bit of a pullback on the Amazon first. I'm going to leave this last bit. At, um, I'm going to keep the stop at break even, right at 22. So I ended up actually letting it run a little bit higher. Just fast forward through. Didn't Never came back to our entry at 22. It broke out and ended up taking some profits once it hit, hit resistance. If I would have stick to my plan, it would have been uh, actually a really big winner because it ended up breaking well over $23 later in the day. So... Let me rewind this and see where I took profits. Um, about twenty-two forty, so I was up forty, a little bit over forty cents a share, and it looked like to me it was starting to lose some momentum. I was happy with forty cents a share, risking only ten cents. That's a four-to-one profit to loss ratio. So, uh, moving on to the next trade, we have Cron coming up. Cron was a parabolic today. It had really solid volume throughout the day in the morning let's see maybe around this area around the view app you can buy some i'm gonna get in here oh you know what i passed the cron 
parabolic trade. Hang on. We're gonna be watching Kron today. There's nothing overhead. So you just have a volume like this, it's consistent volume. Yes, head head in the head. So he was just looking at the cron chart and talking about the volume. So looking at all these volume sticks and showing how that it's just steady momentum or that it's steady volume, it means it's super strong. You know, it's not so, it's not as choppy. I love shorting these. I love shorting these. Hopefully you don't get your face ripped off. So I took a starter short at 50. Let's see if we can get a 20 cent pullback. So you're short. You could try Amazon again. Over this uh, basically 1660. 57 is high a day. Right, 55. 52. 55. I missed the ad. Short 500 shares now. Short 10 cents a share. See if we can get about a 20 cent pullback. I'm gonna take half there, up 10 cents. Stop's gonna be close to break even. I mean, you're right, Laura. There's no reason to short the front side of these strong pullbacks. I just, I, I really like to. I don't know why. We have 10 cents a share. We had 500 shares, it's 50, $50, but we really could have easily lost that because if it snapped over high day, we could have seen probably a bigger loss. So there's our 20 cents. I'm going to take it off there. That was a good move. Okay, so Kron actually ended up continuing in our direction. There's a bigger pullback than I thought it. Pullback all the way down to the VWAP. VWAP. You can buy some. I'm so, going to get in here long, under 21. See if we can get another 20 cents or so. Oof. So there's the test of the VWAP. We really want to see that hold. We're in at 97. So this will be buying the dip on on a strong stock over the VWAP. We have to bail here. Hold up. 2080 is going to be my line in the sand. Push over 21 would be nice. Holding over 21 would be really nice. So that moment when it was coming down to the line in the sand around 2080, it could have been adding. Definitely could have been adding when, when I got that nervous feeling of maybe I made wow. the wrong decision. Over 21 looks good. I don't really like our average if it doesn't continue. So I might take off some risk. The spy's putting in a huge red candle. I don't like that. What is the type for now, guys? Uh, this is obviously an alpha stock. It's not trading with the market. I'm going to take off some there at six. I only got like eight cents there, but I can feel a little bit more comfortable holding this down against us to potentially add. 
we want to see this flutter around 20, hold up over the BWAP, and then push higher. So I'm looking to add back in around uh, 2080 or so. Wow, this, this spy is wild. We want to see it get over 21 and hold. Oh yeah, SYMC is looking to break out. So I'm not going to chase it up there. I'd like to see it break out, pull back, and then form some sort of support at 23. But it's 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 pushing through. All right, so there's some support at 92. Do you see that that bid at 92? So I missed, missed an ad opportunity. We'll give it some more time. See if this 2090 holds. SYMC is breaking out. Hmm. I think this cron is going to be a slow mover. Um, it's really not that extended. It's only up 6%. I'm not sure how I feel about that chart anymore. All right, so here's where we're looking to add and then cut it. If it sets new lows here and doesn't hold, we'll cut it. Our average right now is 97. I'd like to get as close to 2080 as possible. I took my eye off it for a second and it dipped down. These bobbing wicks are showing that it has some support, but it's underneath and the 9 EMA, and it's starting to curl down a little bit. But what I like is that it's holding one of these levels, at least. That was a perfect ad opportunity. I missed it. So we have this level of support. We have the left of, of support of the VWAP, plus we have good volume. So fast forwarding, uh, it never really comes back against us. It starts breaking out, as you can see, uh, up about 30 cents a share. And I ended up taking it right there, right around here. So that put us up 257 for the day. Let's see. This next trade's god awful. It was, um, it took away my entire $260 profit for the day put me red put me red on the day all right so I was looking to short off of this resistance level for SYMC So start a short position under 2366 level. Pretty good. This. It ah. ended up going against us. Putting in a new high over this significant level. I added again short and then right there I just flipped my bias. I went from right here I'm short 500 shares. And then I think it's going to push, so I flip long, 750 shares. Right now I'm long, and I was hoping to get a breakout scalp, and it, it lost momentum, came back under here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you suck. So I basically just got chopped out. And as this starts to gain momentum to the downside, I'm forced to, to bail, but then I, I take in even more size short. So it's it's flirting with 23.50 here. Still kind of grinding. It gives me a few opportunities to exit. And then right wow. here, at under 23.50, I exit and I take it short. 
short 1,250 shares. You see our realized profit, negative 63 on the day. We just lost almost $400 on that trade. We're playing a chasing game here. Down 63. Come on. It would have been a beautiful day if I would have just stuck with my original short plan. We were up 300 and now we'd be up. We'd still be sitting about break even on the trade. But uh, I was trying to respect my my stops and get out of trades. I, I was a little bit um, lagging behind. But we ended up adding in more size here. So uh, we're short 2,000 shares. I'm going to speed this up. It ends up going in our favor, and I start taking taking some profits. Start going somewhere. Where's the momentum? So we're at least back to break even on the day. Only down to a thousand shares. We're up oh, man. seven cents a share, 70 bucks. So let's see, playing that back, I had the right idea and then I flipped long and then now back to short. Had the initial right idea on the short. It just put in a new high. So I respected my stop, oddly, and flipped a bias. So fast forwarding, this ends up kind of channeling out, continuing. Um, I ended up locking in profits on it, playing the channel. Let's see. I ended up getting short again up here. As it bottomed here and it came back up, I'm adding in short. As you can see, I'm short 2,750 shares. Uh, currently underwater, but it was failing to make uh, a high here. I had this former line of resistance that it came under and it came back up to this level and I'm shorting. I'm adding into this position size all the way up in this area here. So as it comes up to this resistance level, I'm sticking with my short bias here. I'm going to be adding in shares. So we have a pretty good average. Our average is 23.60. Tight risk on that one. And it starts coming in our favor and we start paying ourselves on the way, on the way down. So as it comes in our favor, we're paying ourselves. We just took some at 23.52. Now we're back to green on the day. Short 17. 50 breaks, we should see some momentum. If this 23.50 breaks. 59, I'm gonna get a little antsy here and start taking off some more risk. Yeah, 57, back to even. I didn't take it. Hmm. So I end up holding. It ends up coming in our favor. It looks like I added on some shares there. Took some off. Only short a thousand shares. And it ended up giving us a nice crack. Yeah. Here we go. Here's a flush. Took some at 39. 
another at 38 as it just paused there for a second. So that was a sketchy ad opportunity. So as it continued, you know, holding only 500 shares now, we're short. Um, I ended up covering this at the bottom of the channel towards 20 as it continued to just come all the way right back down to that level of support that we have drawn. Here I'm still short 500 shares. Break. So now's a good time to pay myself on this level of support. And I could leave half of it in. So it did, it did bounce a little bit. Basically I was looking for it to set in new lows and break through this and as it's getting support I'm realizing that it could just bounce right back up to the top of this channel that it's in and I might as well get out with some profits. So I just downsized. And I ended up closing that trade out just about um, at this $26 level also. So we ended up with $500, ended up hitting lunch. <clears throat> so going back to the recap for, who's that guy? So going back to the daily recap, I ended up coming back and trading. You see I had 55 tickets here, I was up $500. By the end of today, I am up a lot more tickets, 74 tickets, up almost $900. So I ended up taking some shorts on Cron. I played this, this pattern here down to the support. Um, I was playing now, but those were just like really small. It didn't really get any resolution. And then I also started a swing position for the overall market that I'm going to start building in a portfolio and swinging. I have $20,000 to swing trade and I might as well use it, especially when the market is showing some bullish sentiment. So what I did here, I, I bought the very bottom of this dip. So I bought at 14.56, which you know after going up, it had a, a low here. Where was it? 46.15. So it had low of day here. Oh jeez. We had a low of day. It came down. I grabbed it at. 56, 14, 51, 52, 53, 54. So I grabbed it in this candle here. For whatever reason, I thought that this was going to be the bottom. It ended up being the bottom. And I rode it up until 42, almost held it. Like till the for power hour, it looked like it was gonna continue. So fifteen forty two. I held it until right here. It started to show a little bit of weakness, and I sold the majority of it there. The last one hundred shares, I'm gonna swing from this uh, forty six dollar level of support. So I I obviously want to see it hold. And continue but if it does fall back down I'll reevaluate and look for a place to add and this is gonna go into a long-term swing position for me so um, I can I can take 500 shares of the stock at this price and still be underneath my five underneath my $20,000 risk level so I only have 100 shares in because looking at this on a daily it doesn't necessarily look like the best time to swing to get into a swing. Um, it still has some resistance overhead and it, it could potentially pivot down here and come back. So um, we'll keep that that one on watch. Look, I'm looking to get in full size eventually and then hopefully be green on it and let it swing all the way up here, you know, swing for the fences for the rest of the year because it, it's pretty beat up. But um, monitor that one. 
So I'm going to stay in, in the queues for a while. And finishing the week green, which is great. It wasn't a good week by any means. It was, it was great except for one bad trade. One bad trade ruined, ruined my entire week. I lost. I had a huge loss for one day. So, you know, even though I've been posting all these days, that one red day wiped everything out. And that's usually how I trade. I usually, I'm, I'll be pretty consistent. I'll be like up, 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 and then a big red day. And I'll just grind my account up and then a big red day and just wipe everything out. So that's the main thing that I need to focus on. I I tried to keep the video short, but if you guys are still watching, I, I really appreciate you taking the time to, to look everything over. If you guys have trades and you want to look over your trades and look over your entries and maybe see why they worked and why they didn't, I'm really interested in that too. So connect in the Discord group or you know comment in, in the sections below. If <clears throat> this video sucked, give it a thumbs down. If you enjoyed any of it, uh, I definitely appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, I don't know what you're waiting for because you're here. So. That's going to be it. Going into the weekend green, going in with a great feeling, and we'll definitely be back on Monday to trade the market live at around 9.15. See you guys.